Hey ladies and gents, Pixel High Def here. Hey, I'm doing a video in response to a question uh, on my other video I did uh, 2018, separating the mic, Discord, and gameplay audio in OBS using voice meter. He just simply wanted to know how can you separate the audio levels in the recording itself? Um, probably so you can manage the audio levels. Uh, you can delete tracks if you're not using them. For example, I don't use Discord every game, um, but I don't want it to all be on one channel that you can't really adjust the levels of one versus the other. So it's, it's a very simple process. In most people's setups, you're gonna have three audio inputs. You're gonna have your desktop audio, you're gonna have your Discord uh, audio input capture, and then you're gonna have whatever microphone you're using, like I'm doing here, you're gonna have that input as well. Um, just in OBS, you're gonna go to um, Edit Advanced Properties. Um, and I have a couple more here because I have other scenes going on but this is how I have it set up in both OBS and Streamlabs. Same process for both. Desktop audio I have set for one and two. Uh, Discord I have set for one and four. Uh, and the mic I have set up for one and three. The reason why I have all three channels on one is because I use that for my streaming output so that the streamers or the people that watch the stream can hear all three tracks. Um, and then two, three and four allows me to keep those three channels separate from each other uh, so i can manage them inside of premiere and makes it really easy for me to mute a track or adjust the audio levels of a track so if you set these up um, on individual tracks like i have two for desktop audio three for your mic four for discord uh, then you can set up your recording to separate those tracks as well and that's what we'll do next. We go close here. Then you go to File, Settings. And just like in Streamlabs, you'll go to Output. You'll go to Advanced Output Mode to get these settings. And if you are a streamer, then stream Audio Track 1. You're going to get all three inputs. Um, these are the settings I have for streaming. Uh, recording. Um, and then here on the Recording section, you're going to use 2, 3, and 4 is you want to record only those three channels. If you wanted to record an additional channel that covered all three, like you could always turn on one, but I like to keep them separate because I just like it keep it clean. Three channels is all I need. Um, and then when I record, I'll see those three channels in Premiere when I do my editing. That's pretty much the only settings you need. When you're in Premiere, you can click on the audio files at shift plus sign to make them a little bit larger, but you'll see there are three channels here. This is my desktop or channel two. This is my mic channel three, and this is my uh, discord channel four. Um, if I mute these channels, you'll hear the gameplay or just my mic. As you can see later when I talk on bone plating instead of uh, conditioning okay so this allows you to adjust the audio levels down if the mic's too high or maybe you want the mic to be higher and a desktop audio lower and i'm pretty sure that's what he meant by separating those three uh, for editing so if you need any additional information um yummy lou please let me know hope this video has helped you i hope it helps others um, there's a lot of cool things that you can do and a lot of things I'm still learning, uh, like setting tracks as dialogue and music and then ducking one over the other. Um, those things are pretty cool as well. You can do that in OBS as well. Um, Streamlabs, it's the exact same thing, uh, exact same settings. You just go different places. So down here, you'll go to, uh, your output, make sure it's on advanced mode. You'll set your audio track as one here and you'll set your, um, two, three, and four MP4 on the recording. That's what I personally use when I do my recordings. As well for the audio, you go over here to the mixer, and then this is where you can control those channels uh, in Streamlabs. So both services works the same way, um, but that's how you do it all. If you if this video is any use to you, uh, please give me some feedback. Uh, make sure you hit like, uh, subscribe to the channel, um, and I guess see you in another video. All right, God bless.